All right, guys. So um, this is one of the two fan fiction ideas I'm going to do today that was voted on over on Patreon. And as always, if you guys like to join in on the Patreon stuff, uh, just hit the link below. Head on over to my Patreon, where if you just want to do polls and check out movie reviews, um, that's just uh, the first tier. So you guys can do that. You guys can just hit the first tier and join in on voting. I was going to do this sooner, but I was like, eh. I did a I did I did a five part fan fiction idea series of videos and I was like give it a little break like just a wee break from well everything <laughs> like that was kind of the thing like I was like I want to give this just a wee bit of a break um, and work and do something else for a little bit but yeah so that's why it took a little while to get to this so we're gonna talk about this first and that is um, uh, a three-way crossover between Danny Phantom, Ghostbusters, and Hell of a Boss. So we're going to do this one, and I thought it'd be pretty fun to do this, because this was a three-way crossover. And it was actually, like, the poll was tied. Like, um, yeah, it was basically a tied story between this spawn and a cross three-way crossover between Spawn, Owl House, and Elm Street. And I was like, well, as always, i got to be the tiebreaker. So I decided to be the tiebreaker and pick this one. So let's get into it with this story. So the story is, uh, for this story, um, basically what is going on is that uh, we start um, in, the, in, um, in Amity Park. And essentially what's going on is that Danny has um, been just doing his regular thing, just fighting ghosts. However, what happens is he comes across um, one night when he's out doing patrol for, you know, night for ghosts, he comes across a break-in at, uh, at the museum, and he's just like, okay, last time ghosts stole shit, they were either working for Vlad or Freak Show, so this is either going to work out, uh, this is going to work out splendidly. So Danny goes in, and he runs into the, into the attacker, or rather it attacks, it, rather the attacker comes upon him because it doesn't tr this attacker doesn't trigger his ghost sense it turns out that it, it it's an imp and not just any imp it's striker striker has broken into the museum in order to uh take something but Dan he didn't expect danny to, uh, to run into danny so he's like you're the ghost boy right i was hoping i could like i was hoping since i'm not a, a ghost that I wouldn't trigger your ghost sense, but at the same time, I'm actually really excited at the thought of killing you. It's actually it, like he's like, oh yeah, I was real. At the same time, I was really hoping to fight you with these gun with these new guns. So him and Danny get into a fight, and Danny's like, I never thought I'd run into an imp before. Like I've run into ghosts, I've and I've run into all kinds of stuff. So he already is like, I'm. I figured like I'm fighting ghosts already. I might as well be fighting stuff from hell to be, as well. So the two battle, and Danny actually has almost gets hit, and he actually gets grazed by one of the bullets, and he's just like, holy shit, that really hurts. Um, even when he was intangible, and keep in mind, he was intangible and he got grazed by it. And it turns out, yeah, the weapons, the holy weapons that, um, the angel, these kind of like angel demon killing guns that, that, um, uh, Stryker uses can be effective on him too. So Danny is wounded. Striker's like, eh, I'll kill you another time. I'm, <laughs> I'm on a schedule. So he's like, I'm out. So Danny's immediately like, well, that was weird. I need to figure out where he went. Uh, he just bounces. Like, he just straight up bounces. Like, uh, Striker escapes, leaving Danny like he's wounded. And he's like, I don't think I could take that guy on. At, uh, like, again, I'm in no mood. I'm in no position to fight someone like that right now. The best I can do is fight him is uh wait until he shows up again and then try to take him on like that's really all i can do at this moment um so yeah so danny begins like all right let's see what he tried let's see if i can figure out what if what he tried or what he stole like let's see if i can figure out what he stole first and foremost and then sorry there's a bug there <laughs> and then let's go from there so danny's like looking around and then he discovers that um, he discovers like one of the cases are smashed open and it's taken. He's like, well, there it is. There's what he wanted. And he looks 
and he calls Sam and he's like, hey, Sam, I'm going to send you a picture of this little plaque and you're going to tell me what it is. And then he, he's like, I wonder what this place is anyway. And he goes, um, Mysteries of the Occult. And he's like, God damn it. Of course it's occult shit. So <laughs> he, he gets a text back from Sam and he's like, oh, Danny, you really are. If you really fought an imp, you should be worried. And he's like, why? And he's like, because that thing, that thing he took was said to be the Book of Gozer. And he's like, excuse me? <laughs> so the Book of Gozer was an it was an ancient um, tome, kind of like the Necronomicon of Gozer. And it had been lost since the Dark Ages. Um, it was more or less like a book that it could get in contact and even resurrect Gozer from uh, and re and resurrect him or her, basically resurrect Gozer from the bit uh, the pits of the ghost zone and bring him back into uh, into the uh, into a, a new life. So go uh, so yeah, Gozer's our main villain. And he's like Gozer didn't oh, sh and he's like didn't uh, what's their faces fight Gozer a long time ago? And they're like yeah. He's like okay. Okay. So Danny's like, I'm going to have to talk to the, to the Ghostbusters. So <laughs> Danny, has, uh, Danny, Sam, and Tucker make a pilgrimage, basically, on the uh, Fenton jet, the jet all the way to the Ghostbusters. Now, Sam, uh, now Tucker's kind of cool. He's like, holy crap, we're going to meet the Ghostbusters. And Sam's like, extreme Ghostbusters. And he, and he goes, excuse me? Yeah, the, the Ghostbusters like retired a long time ago. The, the extreme ghost of busters have been taking over the extreme ghost busters have more or less taken over since gozer's been you know since like the 90s like they've been kind of running things for a bit and he's like okay cool um question do they know about gozer and he's like yeah they should know about gozer i mean egon's still le like egon is still like the leader of the group so of course he would have to know um he would probably have to know about Gozer. Obviously, he helped fight him, so if you're going to talk to anyone, it's Gozer. But at the same time, Dan Danny's like, I don't know if I want to meet these guys, because honestly, go you know, and, and, and Sam goes, let me guess, it's because you're a you're half ghost, and they're Ghostbusters. And he's like, not only that, it's more like these guys get to be legit off of what my parents do, and my family gets fucked over for trying to do the same thing for years like they like the city of new york like pays for all their shit they're they're like their government like their government workers all of this and my family gets stepped on repeatedly so he's got some animosity towards um towards them um <laughs> so when they arrive danny like shows off and he's like hey i'm danny phantom and I need to speak to Egon, uh, to Egon Spangler right now. And he's telling this all like to Janine, and she's like, "Egon, you have company." <laughs> so they're like, um, when <laughs> when Kylie, Eduardo, and the others all show up and see Danny Phantom, they like, already get the proto packs open because they're like, "It's Inviso Bill." And he's like, "God damn it, that's not my name." Um, so he comes over and is like, "Look, I don't want to fight." But I needed to speak to Egon. It's about Gozer, and Egon's like, "Holy shit! Like, what? Yeah, let's talk. Like, let's talk about Gozer." Meanwhile, in Hell, um, Striker reveal like Striker is like, "Hey, uh, he's talking to his contact. Like, hey, got your book? What's the price? Like, what? Um, what is the price for this? Uh, for for this book?" And the uh, and the uh, and the person on the other end is like more than you could ever imagine. So, <laughs> uh, it turns out that the other person, the contact, is um, Evo Shandor. So Shandor, he w he died and went to hell, and he did know about Gozer's. Um, attack in, in the 80s, but the Ghostbusters defeated him, and he's been trying to find a way to get the book back so he can bring, he can unleash Gozer again from the depths of the ghost zone. 
but he was he thought like he could do that like oh i'm gonna die and go to the ghost zone nope he went to hell and the book was forever lost to him so he's hired striker to do it meanwhile um <laughs> in hell um what's happened is that not only like not only did like uh was Stryker like calling and making and keeping in contact with Shandor? Um, he also was kind of working with Stella because uh, he was also um, Sh like uh, Shandor needed the grimoire that the uh, that the family has, and Stella, being the spiteful bitch that she was, loaned them um, the grimoire to let uh, um, Stryker bounce back and forth. How and in return, she's like, "I'll let you do this." And in return, you have Gozer kill uh, kill Stolas. Of course, uh, <laughs> the, um, Octavia hears that and is like, "No, I am not going to let my do my father get killed." So she sends a message to IMP, and they're like, "We're on the way." And he's like, "Seriously, you are going to pay us, right?" And she's like, "He, you love him, right? You love my dad." And he's like, "Yeah, I also love money." <laughs> Blitz is just like, I love money, too. Um, she's like, fine, here's ten bucks. And he's like, all right, enough, that's, I'm a, I've, been, I've been a dirty slut for worse. Let's go, guys. <laughs> um, so they, so, she, so Luna opens the uh, grim, uh, opens the portal to, uh, to Earth, and is this, at the same time, Shandor, now with the power of Gozer at his, at his fingertips, is able to go back to Earth as well. So meanwhile, Danny is telling everyone that, like, Danny's telling the story of, like, what's going on, uh, how, uh, like, how this all happened, and he's like, holy shit, we didn't know there was a book. We, like, we thought, oh, like, we didn't know about the book of Gozer. We thought it was, like, a fake. Like, even I looked it over and was like, this has, like, this, this was never a mention thing. This was never, like, there would have been context. And it's like, maybe that's what, and Danny's like, maybe that's what Gozer wanted. So, what happens is um, Shandor shows back up in New York and unlocks the power of Gozer and opens a direct portal to the ghost zone. So all of the go oh, the ghosts are spilling out. Um, meanwhile, that's about the time IMP shows up and they're like, huh, so this is New York. Kind of ghosty. Cool. <laughs> So they're like, you know the you know the deal, guys. Put a bullet through the through the Shandy's head. <laughs> um, so they're fighting their way through ghosts. Meanwhile, Danny and the Extreme Ghostbusters are all like fighting their way through them, and it's it, inevitably the imps run into the Ghostbusters and Danny, and they're like, they everyone's got guns and protoplasm and proto and photon packs pointed at each other until eventually everyone's like, whose side are you on? Not his. And they're like, good enough for me. So it's all like a big team up by this point. It's all just one giant team up, um, and they fight their way to the Empire State Building, where Shandor is like opening up, hoping, keeping the portal open, and letting Gozer come through. And sure enough, Gozer does. And Gozer is like, Gozer the Traveler has arrived, and everyone's like, I know this story. Don't think it right. Like, do not think of a thought. Do not have a thought. And everyone like clears out their brains, except for one person. And it's Blitz. And everyone's like, I didn't think of anything. Did you think of anything? No, I didn't think of anything. Um, they all look at they all look at Millie and Moxie. Did you think of anything? No, I didn't think of anything. Blitz. It popped in there. What popped in there, sir? It was just a quick image. Like I didn't think of it like I didn't I, I just I just had a thought. <laughs> And it's as bad as you think. <laughs> because the thing that Gozer arrives in, they're like, they're thinking it's going to be a stay puff. Like, maybe Blitz heard of Gozer before and, like, brought him back as a stay puff again. No. No, it's so, it's so much worse. Because what he imagined, and because this is Blitz, he remembered, um, uh, he made a hundred foot tall Verasica and she's naked and it's worse because she's a Futanari and he's and the moment like 
uh, Moxie sees that he wants to kill himself. He like immediately turns turns the gun on himself, and Millie's like, "No, no!" And at first, like Tucker thinks that holy shit, a hundred foot tall naked succubus! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's so much worse. <laughs> He's like, "Oh my god! I have conflicted." <laughs> And um, even like um, uh, all the all the guys in the group are like, this is kind of hot. And then she moved over the side. Oh no! <laughs> so they have to fight this version of go. And they're like, why would you think of this, sir? It was just a funny image. So they all use the proton packs to cap to cross. They cross the streams, but this time around. Danny uses his char like supercharges the cross streams with his ecto energy and blasts away Gozer again. Shandor gets sent back to hell and they take the book and just chop and just and Danny just is like, I'm gonna get rid of this real quick and just destroys it. So by the end of it, everyone is just like, let's never talk of this again, even though everyone saw this. I never want to speak of this image again. So there you go. <laughs> so there you go, guys. That is the Ghostbusters. Danny Phantom, hell of a boss crossover. You guys tell me in the comments below, what did you guys think of it? I'd like to thank everyone for voting, even if this did end with a tie. And like I said before, if you'd like to have a Patreon request done, just hit the link below, head on over to my Patreon, and hit the fourth tier, where you guys can start sending me requests for videos to do here on YouTube. Also, um, if you just want to do like polls and whatever, just hit the link below, hit and go to the first tier, where you guys can start doing joining in polls and voting on which videos that would you'd want to see here on YouTube or on Patreon. But other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.